Hi there, loves. It's us again. My name is Raya and... My name is Lego and today we want to make something different because before we had videos uh, that's like for some entertainment <laughs> more. Uh, we, and uh, now we want to make video more uh, with information. Information, yeah. Yes, because uh, we got uh, many requests uh about uh, from the guys who has uh same situation like us international families or international uh, uh couples oh, well, yes i and was really surprised because a lot of people are messaging us and asking how to do this how to do that and we decided to record video about documents this is boring this is not interesting uh, but we will try to make uh, everything short We will tell you uh, how we made this document Maybe you have another way to you know another way So if you know something more just comment yes. below this video and people who will find this video can read and can get more information and uh, If you will find something new something interesting for yourself just put like and subscribe. All information that we're giving you and all uh, companies that we will mention, uh, it's not commercial. We we just telling you what what uh, we used. We are not paid for this. Yeah, nobody pay for us. So this is just uh, information for you. How uh, what can use if you will find some other company other way. Okay, Do we it. will be yeah. happy for you. Yeah, choose the one who will make you comfortable and the easiest and convenient. Way. And all of this information are only based on our own experience. So. We will start from visa. Uh, this is visa type B. Actually, have two types of visa that you can make, can make for your love. It's first type. It's a tourist visa. We uh, used other way. We made private visit visa. You need to make uh, application form. It's on website. Uh, we made all documents from Manila in VFS Global. Yes, it's and only VF, one way. Yes, and VFS Global is located in Makati, Ayala, Makati. So you can, we will also put in the description the address of this visa center. We just can uh, put for Google Maps yes. location of mm, this. This is the only visa center in Philippines. Ukra uh, the way, way you can make Ukrainian visa, it, they just uh, made it, I think, two years ago. Yes. And when I before I came here, before I came yeah. here, Ho it's very nice because if not, you need to go to Malaysia, Malaysia or Vietnam. That's the nearest Ukrainian embassy. About documents, uh, we are making uh, to, uh, we are making private visit VFS Global um, application on the website. Uh, after that, uh, also what you need to bring your passport, of course, mm -hmm. one picture, three point five to four point five. Uh, centimeters uh, it's a like normal uh, picture photo also on website of VFS global you can check uh, how should looks your picture or you on this picture it's also very important because uh, they check this uh, moments uh, when they gather when they take the documents tickets this is uh, very important now uh, because uh, you need to have tickets booking it's uh, because before uh, when we made your first uh, visa you need to really to have uh, like confirmed tickets confirmed tickets yeah, yeah. Confirmed tickets. but uh, now you just need to have bookings you need to show to the uh, embassy because maybe because of this uh, situation with the mm -hmm. covid uh, uh, you just need to show to embassy that really have flight from manila to you, to kiev to ukraine uh, straight flights we don't have only yes, through some uh, other countries how to book tickets i found one way actually i found it in uh, youtube uh, one guy also explained how to do this you just need to use terminal uh, for payment payment terminal uh, you, you choose this type of payment for tickets they already really booking it for three days because they give you three days to go to terminal to pay this money uh, but this is enough because you're receiving a uh, code um, of booking like, yeah. and you going to checkmytrip.com yeah. yeah, with this reference number you uh, put there and you're receiving already booked tickets it's everything there correct uh, 
can see that it's booked, it's already everything good. This is enough for embassy. We are not advertising, we already said about this, but I really, Turkish Airlines, I because I checked many, many uh, type of tickets, many uh, com companies, because you have actually one of the fastest uh, flights, because it's only a bit around 16 hours. Again, because of this pandemic, uh, you don't need to make tests. Turkish Airlines helped us with this and yeah. uh, it was really fast, More right? You just transferred very fast. Yeah. Very important that you always wear your mask. Mask is a must. <laughs> yeah, and uh, actually, Same. when we were in airport in Manila, right, you saw some guys who were who who were in yeah, like, really like uh, astronauts. <laughs> they they were. Yeah, but it's also safety, safety first. Yeah, safety first. Next one, it's insurance. Insurance you need to make in Philippines. Uh, we made it in Malayan, Malayan insurance. Yeah. It was. Uh, Last time it was around 130 USD, yes. something in for, this position. That is good for three months. 90 days. You will get visa for 90 days. That's why insurance should be uh, for this period of your uh, visa. You need to also add bank account, a uh, copy of, uh, from your bank account. Statement uh, of account. Yes, the uh, embassy uh, will see that you have, you have money, money yeah, to for, provide to, to stay here. Yeah. It doesn't matter, or it will be account uh, person who yeah. stay in Ukraine or person who, stay, who will come yeah, from Philippines. Will. Doesn't matter. More important that it should be. Uh, you should have some some money. Or I can suggest you just can make a bank account who have like at least three thousand USD. Yeah, we actually we don't know the lowest position, how how much yeah. money you should have, uh, because we loaded like three k and it was enough. Mm -hmm. If you're making a private visit visa, you need to make uh, instead of hotel booking, you need to make notarized uh, invitation letter. A person who stay in Philippines should have this original, in, uh, this original invitation letter because. Um, uh, they they not allowed copies even if it's color colored copies. So the the biggest problem is to send it to Philippines even uh, before COVID. I used the company in time. Uh, now this company already not working in Ukraine. That's why unfortunately I don't know. Maybe Ukrpochta. It's uh, our Ukrainian post uh, office. Okay. Yeah, the the central the main post office. Uh, they also might send, but everything also depends of how long, how much you will pay for this, uh, because I paid for delivery around 900 grivnias. It's around like $40. They delivered during five working days. If you're making a normal processing fee, it's cost 7,577, 77 pesos. Uh, if you're making fast processing, it's 11,130. Six. Normal processing it's from 10 to 30 working days. If it's fast uh, processing it from 5 to 10 days working days. Before, if you uh, need to pay for your visa, you need to pay um, through the bank. You need to find bank account. You need to send money to Malaysia, to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, this money, uh, check how much the currency between peso and uh, Malaysia ringgit. Uh, so it's really complicated and uh, already in VFS Global you're paying for VFS uh, fee and for delivery shipping fee. Um, so it was a bit more complicated, now they change it and uh, now... Uh, Actually it's more easier now. Yeah, you just need to pay everything in one place in VFS Global, you don't need to uh, go, go to the somewhere. bank. Yeah, it's really easy. Uh, but uh, the price that we uh, told you, this is a uh, price what we found uh, what we, website. on website because uh, when Rhea uh, went there, it yeah. was a I bit paid, higher. Yeah, some, I paid more. They like, added some fee. Yeah. So you just check. Just, uh, Be ready that you need to have some plus yes. 100 USD more. Not only 100 USD, maybe more. Depends on the VFS. Anyway different now they change everything about visa type b now ukrainian embassy changed processing mm, okay. now you can make everything online without vfs global uh, it's only about type b 
visa, tourists or private visa. You can send everything, all these documents uh, online. Type D visa. Uh, this is visa uh, that you need to make if you want uh, to uh, come here to Ukraine and make temporary residence permit. This is for those who are married already in yes. Ukraine or in the Philippines, it doesn't matter. It's almost the same with the type B visa, uh, with all what we said uh, late, uh, earlier, but... Uh, it's more easy actually, because you don't need invitation letter, you don't need this bank account, still need? You still need bank ah, account, okay. but for type D visa, instead of uh, invitation letter like in type B visa, you need to have marriage certificate, Ukrainian or Philippines marriage certificate. Depends on We had a uh, wedding in Ukraine. So we have a uh, Ukrainian uh, marriage certificate, it's uh, orange or pink one, so if you have this original that's enough. You don't need any translation because if you, uh, I read about this, if you have uh, for example Philippines or on some other country maybe you got married, you still you need translation to Ukrainian language and I guess that to make it in Philippines uh, it will be a bit hard. Yes to find who knows Ukrainian, who will translate it and who will make notary. We're just lucky that we got married here in Ukraine because all documents we made here. And it's a bit more easy, uh, more easy yeah. All other documents, uh, application, passport, tickets, insurance mm -hmm. still need to make yes. in Philippines and uh, bank account and this marriage certificate. Mm -hmm. To come to Ukraine you need to have another insurance. It's yes, COVID, COVID insurance. Yes, can make it in Ukraine. I made it uh, in company VUSO, V U S O. Uh, it cost for me around uh, 900 grivnias, so again around $40. Uh, it was very fast, like one hour, and they sent me. You don't need original this document, you just uh, have uh, need to have an electronic copy. I sent uh, to my love, and she just printed everything. Uh, and that's all. In, in immigration, it was a bit hard because they they were still be asking a lot of Both questions. Both times in type B visa, type yeah. D visa, they still asking. Yeah, yeah, but just don't feel nervous. Just be confident. I suggest bring some pictures, just a proof that you are together. And let's talk now about marriage certificate. We already started to talk about this. We showed you our marriage certificate because we were married in Ukraine, in Dnieper. Dnieper city. It's not hard. All what you need to have, this is um, actually application that you signing in uh, in the office, and uh, your passport, passport of Ukrainian citizen. You just need to uh, bring it and the passport of uh, Filipino citizen, mm -hmm. uh, and you need to make before you will come uh, to sign application. You need to make a translation to Ukrainian with a notary. If we choose the average office, we need to, uh, we can get married only like after one month, but we want it a bit faster because uh, everything also depends on how long is your visa and how long you already stay in Ukraine. But I did not expect that we would get married. <laughs> like the Nepal. Yeah, actually, it was. I just thought we would just get married in office. When you're receiving two copies of marriage certificate, uh, this is just the start of this long journey of documents. When you receive your marriage certificate, you need to make a postal. This is not hard, just takes time because uh, all offices now working not uh, every day. I made it in Bureau of Translation. I just brought this uh, marriage certificate. You need to uh, apostolize this uh, marriage certificate first. Then you need the uh, Bureau of Translation translating it, notarize it. And after this, uh, they're sending it again for a postal. Where is the nearest Apostle office? Apostle you can make only uh, in Kiev. That's why when you're sending, uh, giving these documents to Bureau of Translation, they will send it to uh, Kiev to Ministry. It takes time. So better for me, to do all the documents in Kiev. I waited three weeks for this uh, Apostle. Hard, long, but what to do? When you finish with a postal, you already will receive your marriage certificate together with a few more papers because they will be translation to a postal. Uh, when you will receive it, uh, you will be ready to make a report of marriage. A report of marriage you cannot make in Ukraine. 
Why? Because we don't have embassy of Philippines. They making everything uh, by delivery documents uh, from Kiev. Good that we have consulate in Kiev. You need to make appointment time. They will uh, before she work in uh, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday from nine to uh, nine a.m. to one p.m. Why you need uh, this report of marriage, my darling? Do you know? To register your marriage. Yes, in the Philippines, because uh, if you have a marriage certificate uh, and you married only in Ukraine, you legal only in Ukraine. Yes. What documents you need for report of marriage? Passport, uh, your your passport and uh, both your passport. wife's. Yeah, both passports. <laughs> you need to have uh, four pictures, uh, both of you, four pictures. Mm -hmm. then, what size? Uh, same for like for visa, three point five to four point five need to be specific with the size of the picture because they will ask you again to yeah better to make it proper uh, from the first time and actually that's all apostolic documents passports photos and uh, application application you uh, can get uh, in uh, consulate Web website um, actually no I did not find also about price how much cost? It's $25. It's, it's for report of marriage. For report of marriage, uh, cost $25. Plus, if you will not make it during one year after your wedding, uh, they have a fidavit. It's calling a fidavit. A fidavit of lost. Yeah, so uh, you need to pay $25 More. additional. Like yeah. it's a penalty. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and you paid. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't pay. Because, uh, because I came, I came one day before. <laughs> So one day before our wedding day and she uh, said ah, so no lucky. need because uh, you You're came lucky. in the right time one year it's not yet one year <laughs> but so it's one day before it you need to make four copies of each why you need four copies because they will make four reports four copies report of marriage uh, one copy you uh, will receive uh, like you you will have it uh, original uh, this mm -hmm. with the stamps and three they will get for themselves consulate they send these documents to embassy then they will return uh, your copy with already stamp with signs uh, delivery of uh, they made delivery by DHL uh, and uh, but you still receiving these documents in consulate uh, delivery costed around one five uh, 1538 grimness anyway it's much better than to go to Poland of course. you will receive your copy report of marriage and next step you will need it for CFO certificate CFO is really important because you cannot go out from immigration without CFO even so if you have sure. visa yes about a uh, report of marriage uh, you can use as we know because now everything happening online you can use uh, your copy of report of marriage uh, just to make scan copy and uh, send to CFO uh, for us it was enough uh, because uh, they recommend to go to DFA, mm -hmm. to uh, Department of Statistic to receive from there. But if you uh, made this report of marriage, you need to wait from two to six months uh, when this report of marriage from Poland will come to Philippines. Mm -hmm. It's, I guess it's, yeah, too long. I guess it's too long. If you want to wait everything faster, you're just using uh, your copy of report of marriage. And that's all. When you already have this report of marriage, you need to register uh, in form in CFO. Uh, CFO dot go dot 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 ph. Ph. For the CFO, these are the requirements. Copy of record of marriage. Yes. This is what we talked oh, before. Yes. Then both of your passports, mm -hmm. visa, scan yes, copy, scan copy, and that's all. Picture. No, no need. When you finished with uh, all documents and you send them to CFO, you will receive email uh, to email that you put uh, to the form uh, about appointment time when they will call okay. you, uh, and uh, you will talk about like, yeah about one and a half uh, one and a half hours. <laughs> Really? About what did you talk with? About officer? everything, literally everything. They will uh, she or the person who will call you will ask you a lot of questions. So just 
because for that the about relationship but about person yes, with whom everything, you everything yeah it's like orientation before this call you need to pay fee mm -hmm. uh, 400 peso plus 90 for delivery when call is done one or two days uh, yeah. when you receive yeah. already to your email you're receiving uh, uh, electron uh, Electronic you, copy. Electronic yeah. copy. You don't need to wait for the original copy of the certificate because electronic is enough uh, for immigration. Yeah. Once you received your CFO certificate, uh, you already can book ticket because you will for sure will uh, know the date. And uh, on immigration in Manila airport, uh, you uh, need passport, visa in passport, CFO certificate, original or electronic copy. Uh, marriage certificate if you have Ukrainian it's also okay uh, as a proof uh, then you need to have your spouse uh, copy, of copy of passport uh, also health declaration health, uh, this health declaration this is depends on the uh, airline company because Turkish Airlines they don't do this they don't need this uh, plus insurance uh, COVID insurance and COVID insurance that you need for immigration in Ukraine. Yes, uh, in tra Philippines, travel insurance. Travel insurance. That's what you made actually for visa. Mm -hmm. So it's done. Uh, and the travel fee, right? Yeah, travel fee. It's normal for those who are going out from Philippines. And that's you all. Pay for this travel tax. And it's you travel tax. fly. And finally, you will meet your love. So this video is to help all the couples like us because we've been there and done that and finally we're together so on the next video we will show you yes. how to make temporary residence which i got yes. already okay guys so that's all for today we hope that we will we can help you in any ways that we could possibly can if you still have questions you. comment and we will uh, send you some information maybe that we did not Yeah, say. if we forgot some information, you can just comment or message us. We know how to be on this situation and uh, how to be far and how to be in LDR more than one year. We've That's been there, yep. done that, so... See you on next videos, bye-bye! See you in the next video, guys, bye-bye! Love you all, mama, chup, chup.